Huge news from Ford today. They just revealed the 2024 Ford Mustang. 58 years of continuous production for the Mustang started April 17th, 1964 at the World's Fair. And here at the Detroit Auto Show, we are showcasing the base, the GT and the convertible Mustang. The Mustang is really about pop culture, music, movies, and so much more. Mustang has always meant freedom to so many people. And everybody has a Mustang story. So the new Mustang is about design and technology and performance. This is the seventh generation Mustang. And today a thousand Mustangs come for the Mustang Stampede. They're arriving from all over the country. And you can check out my Instagram, my TikTok to see a thousand Mustang Stampede arriving at the Detroit Auto Show for the reveal. The common thread for Mustang is enthusiasm because the Mustang is iconic. The 2024 Mustang has two engine choices. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost that has more power and more fuel efficiency. We just don't know how much yet. And the five liter Coyote engine, this is the fourth generation of the Coyote motor, naturally aspirated, has more power, dual intakes, both are gasoline powered Mustangs. And the competitors, they've gone all EV, we're just going away. Now it comes in a six speed manual on the GT, or you can go with the 10 speed automatic, which is available on the base car. One really cool feature is you could rev the engine from the remote control, pretty cool. The Mustang has improved steering feel because it is a new rack with a faster steering ratio. The new Mustang is edgy, it's sexy, and it looks fast just standing still. And the new buyer is different from the past buyer. These buyers are into drifting, gaming, customizing, technology, and big performance. Taking a look at the outside of the Mustang, the GT has a front fascia that is different. It's a new front end and has a straight up and down grille design. I'm not really the biggest fan of that, but I do like the base grille. It actually looks more like a Camaro, just a slight bit different. Now the belt line or along the side profile has dropped a bit. So it makes it look like a matchbox car you wanna pick up and put in your pocket. It has all new sheet metal and it's much more chiseled. And the profile has a Camaro-esque design to it. More muscular rear quarters, sharp rear taillights, deep V edge, and dual exhaust on the base and dual quad exhaust on the GT. Chevron shaped headlamps. The new Mustang comes in fastback and convertible models of the base, premium, or GT. The new Mustang has more downforce and a bigger rear wing on the track pack cars, which also means a lower drag coefficient. The first thing you note when you look inside the new Mustang is you're gonna see two flat 13 inch screens. Now they're split screens, but they have an interactive design. And if you buy the track pack, you can get the track mapping on the right screen. So you can kind of see where you are as you go around the track. And of course it has timers and a lot of other cool stuff. You'll also notice that in the GT behind the driver's seats are hooks so you can hang bags or jackets, but the rear seats also have integrated headrests. The GT seats have bigger bolsters and they're a little bit wider and you can get the racing stripe accent colors on the performance pack cars. I will note there is no lumbar on the passenger side. The driver's side has two-way lumbar. The interior details have a carbon fiber look and trim details and are available in black or space gray or the optional carmine red. The GT offers front and rear Brembo disc brakes, big brakes to stop big power. The premium and the base offer ventilated four wheel disc brakes. The GT hood offers a front vent to get some of the heat off of the motor. The base and premium cars offer a bronze wheel package riding on Continental 19 inch tires. One thing you'll note is the hood has body lines that are very similar to that of a 1971 Mustang. The grille is available in matte black on base and premium. The GT offers matte gray wheels that are 19 inch riding on Pirelli P0s, 19 by nine inch in the front, 19 by 9.5 in the back. And we are told there's an optional 20 inch wheel. One cool feature is the electronic parking brake. It looks like a regular parking brake and you can do some serious drifting with this car. The 2024 Mustang is available in 11 exterior colors. Note there is no green this year. Some of the safety features that are included are active cruise control, blind spot, backup camera, and the Ford safety suite. The best news for Ford on the 2024 Mustang is there's no competition. No Camaro, no Challenger, no Charger. They've gone EV or they've gone away. And that's pretty cool. I give Ford a lot of props for remaining gasoline powered because that's what performance is truly about. 
Ford is billing this as the best ever Mustang. So we'll be reviewing it very soon. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the review when it drops. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Share this with your friends, ask your questions, and if you need more, check out my links and my social media book and podcast down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.